So I had this idea that I was gonna see as much of Germany as possible in 9 days using only the 49 euro Deutschland ticket to find out if it's the ultimate way to see Germany on a budget. And to make it even more interesting, I also asked my girlfriend Denise to give me a few challenges to do in every stop. So on the first day I started in Hamburg and made my way to Bremen, where I took a selfie with the Bremer Stadtmusikanten. I then headed onwards to Cologne, where I was gonna stay for the night and had some kills at a local brewery. On the second day I missed my first train of the journey, but made my way to Heidelberg, where I took the funicular up to Königstuhl. After exploring the town and castle for some time, I then headed onwards to Freiburg in Breisgau, where I arrived in the evening. The next morning I started the day off with having a lange rote for breakfast, before I headed onwards to Munich, where I arrived 9 hours later, completely exhausted, so I headed to Augustine Keller for a beer and some dinner. On day 4 I had my first non-travel day of the journey, which I spent exploring beautiful Munich, eating Weisswurst completely wrong, but also visiting one of the darkest places in modern history, Dachau. On day 5 I headed further to Nürnberg, where I tried Dreimweckla, Rotbeer and the Nürnberg style gingerbread Elisenlebkuchen. Exhaustion from the high paced travel I was doing was now really setting in, but at least the city was beautiful. On day 6 I headed to Dresden, but instead of checking out the city, I went to Sächsische Schweiz, the Saxon Switzerland, enjoyed some nature and climbed the Bastaibrücke. I then went into town and watched the sunset from Brühl's Terrace. Now I still had one task to do, to try Eierschecke at a small cafe called Dresdner Kaffeestubchen. And with that said, let's start day 7. Good morning, Neustadt. The party is over for tonight. Uh, this whole district is completely abandoned. It doesn't really matter, I slept well. Earplugs in and all good. We're not gonna stay in this district today though. Today we're heading down into the Altstadt. Jesus Christ, is that a DDR flag flying there? Yep, that is a DDR flag. Well, I bet the parties were not as wild here during the DDR time. GDR time, it's called in English, I always forget that. But let's walk into town, let's see if we can finish our <coughs> second task off. Yeah, when I was walking back home yesterday evening, this street was so crowded, I decided not to even walk on it because it was just completely full. Ah, good morning, Dresden. How have you been tonight? Oh, it's a bit grey today. But it is a really nice view when you walk across this river. You see the old town in the distance like that. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can uh, get a seat at the cafe. We're gonna try immediately. <coughs> Gotta make sure that I get a seat. And then it's probably better to be there quite early I feel like. Because there doesn't seem to be too many people out right now. Yeah, it's me and old people. Everyone else is sleeping, sleeping off the alcohol. Ah, it's really pretty, it's really pretty. Okay, let's see if we can get some Aya Shechen. I think Shechen, Aya Shechen. I think that's how you pronounce it. We'll see when we get to the cafe if they understand what I'm talking about. Look at this wall. Cool. Okay, I think it should be over here. Let's see? Uh huh. It's full. Sad, sad. Then I guess we'll come back later. Or we wait. Tricky. Turns out, if I was only here for cake and coffee, it was fine to sit down here just for a short time, uh, even though it's reserved. Perfect. Because then I can just finish the challenge and move on with the day. Okay, we got our kick and we got our coffee. Perfect. Let's see here how this famous cake tastes like. Mmm. Oh, that's really tasty. Mmm, nice. Okay, I highly recommend this one. Mm, that's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Second challenge done. Check on that one or that direction, whatever direction. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Then we're gonna explore the town together. See you then. Okay. The 
that out of the way let's explore Twiston so now we're gonna end up at the Bulls Terrace uh, where I was watching the sunset yesterday uh, then we're gonna walk walk back and then we're finally finally gonna enter the old town because we haven't done that yet not really well kind of but I want to walk through the gate I want to walk through the, the big gate that we've seen that you see when you cross the bridge you know oh man I was really lucky that I got a table um, I didn't see that happening when I saw it was full and that everything was reserved and apparently that's how it is for breakfast uh, if you want to have breakfast you gotta reserve but apparently I guess the people that had breakfast had already left that table and they figured that a cake and a coffee doesn't take I don't know it doesn't take that long so yeah they let me sit there which was really nice and so the challenge is done and and I had a very very tasty cake <sighs> good start to the day good start to the day also feels really good this is all we're gonna do today because I don't know I feel really relaxed today today I'm only gonna explore Dresden I don't have anything else planned I don't have any day trips I could do or well I'm sure there are day trips I could do but nothing that I've looked up and would would like to do so yeah we can just walk around all day chill out if the weather gets too bad maybe just find a nice cafe sit down chill out another coffee read a bit yeah today really sounds like a good day Okay, finally, this time we're gonna walk through that, through those gates. Those were the gates I was talking about. I mean, it's always impressive to walk through gates that look like that. If that does not tell you you're about to enter a cool place, I don't know what is. Now we're through. Cool. 12 seconds later. Okay, maybe this part was not as cool. Okay, there's a cool building behind me right now, but maybe this part was not as cool as I previously had thought. Oh wow, some cool mosaic. I think that's, that's probably DDR. Yeah, you're a mosaic. Yeah, if there's one thing they were good at in the Eastern Bloc, it was mosaic. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's cool that they actually left that because it's part of part of the history after all. I don't know if you can read it at the top. It says, Wissen die Sieger der Geschichte, which means basically, we are the victors of history. That didn't age well. Okay, so maybe the old town wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. Uh, I mean, this and was, after all, one of those cities that got basically completely destroyed. So it kind of makes sense also that there aren't too many old buildings around. Let's head down this road instead, back to the, the pretty old parts. So what do we do now? Good question. Let's see if we can enter the church. Huh. Since my cake this morning, I've gone a full circle around town. <laughs> okay. Well, then uh, I guess we'll walk in the other direction. I have no idea what this is. Okay, so it's actually a museum. Might be cool later if I'm out of things to do. Feel like spending uh, 16 euro or something for entrance. We'll see later, we'll see later. We still have some other things we're gonna do first. Okay, I think I'm starting to get this a little bit. This is where I entered. 
that's the mosaic and that's the square and I guess this is the Zwinger see if we can get anywhere see anything for free or if we have to pay just to walk up on the terrace well it seems like we can get up here oh we are up here oh, I guess there is stuff inside yeah that's probably it oh wow yeah <laughs> yeah beautiful isn't it this is stunning plastic tubes and the containers and that cool looking spider machine yeah okay yeah this is honestly a little bit depressing to see That was kind of, that was kind of it in the old town, actually. Huh. Well, I mean, if I would enter some museums, it would would take. I could probably stay here a lot longer. I don't know what's going on here now. Uh, but I'm just not in a museum mood right now. I don't feel like spending a lot of money to watch art. Uh, so I figured. And walk to the other side. Apparently there's a rose garden or something. And I can go for a nice park. So yeah. Let's do that. Oh, man. When the sun comes out, it's just it's so hot today. I guess it's because it's so so humid. Uh, because it's been raining yesterday. I think it was raining tonight as well. And suddenly the sun goes away, it starts getting windy and it's cold and I feel like and I really need my my hoodie again. It's quick changes today. Currently walking over this bridge on this side. And wow, we get a pretty nice view of the Um I guess the time for roses are over. This is the rose garden, I think. No. We're not there yet. This is just Another place. Never mind. Here we go. Rose Garden. Oh, season is a little bit over, but there are still some roses left. And this is a cool, cool, cool wild boar, I think. That's what I see at least. Well, as you can see, it's not that many roses left, but there are a few. And it does smell really nice here. Look down there, we got a flea market it seems like, that's perfect, let's see if we can find something cool. Halfway through, still haven't really seen anything that would like. Well, maybe I can find anything on the flea market that I wanted but uh, Thuringer, Thuringer sausage I can at least go for will be my lunch for today I'm out of shock mm. now in the afternoon I think it's gonna start raining so we'll see what we're gonna what we're gonna do then mm. Tasty, very juicy. I like. So there's a lot of police today uh, because apparently people are gonna celebrate and demonstrate uh, the East German uprising of 1953. Uh, so it's, it's raining. And, uh, well, it looks like the sun is shining, but it's raining on and off. It's gonna do that for the next few hours, so I'm just gonna enjoy that I actually have a place to chill out today. 
Yeah, I just lay down in my hostel bed. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Much, much, much later. Okay, I guess we're we're out in time again to uh, catch the demonstration I told you about earlier. Wow, the whole bridge over there is full. So I took the tram here and it did not go its normal route, which would be over that bridge. And now I understand why I had to take the other bridge instead. Wow, that's a big demonstration. Oh well, I'm not here to watch the demonstration. Uh, I'm here to enjoy my dinner actually, uh, which will be very easy today. We're just gonna have some store-bought potato salad. Because I'm hungry, but I spent enough money so far and we're gonna spend more in Berlin tomorrow, so. Perfect, perfect dinner. One kilo, two euro. What else can you wish for, huh? So, cheers all the demonstrating people. Hope it's good. Mm. It is actually really tasty. I didn't feel like wasting a lot of money on a restaurant. Like, I just wanted something easy to eat. I want a nice view. I want to see Old Town Dresden one more time because tomorrow I'm leaving from Neustadt. So, I won't come back here. Let's enjoy this. Watch the Old Town one last time here. And uh, yeah, if nothing else, I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Another non-travel day. Unfortunately, the weather was not too nice and in general things did not turn out like I thought. But don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed Dresden despite this. I was just a bit tired. With that said, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Give a thumbs up if you did, click subscribe so you don't miss the next episode and I'll see you next time.